The democracy comes from the word demos. Demos have two definitions of the Latin word demos. The first is the general people, the popular culture. The second, the demos can also mean an elite group of chosen individuals who make decisions over the rest of the people, who are represent the people. In this way, it means that you can technically choose your exploiter, your dictator, your king and your queen. Democracy, when most people think about the system, have in mind the, that democracy means the power by the people. When reality, democracy means in the majority of the cases, which without an exception maybe in small communities. The second kind is particular in the West with our systems that we have of politics, wherein one person who wants to be, become the leader of the country goes to other and to businesses for money or for um, political substitutes or resources or with other things and in compromise for that the business asks the support of their puppets or I have to say the politician where they are being going in or where they're in to a relation of power well, the politics. The politics means actually the art of uh, power structuring system society. So therefore the voice and the vote of a business over or from people who work in search businesses while the state follows over others. To serve in the eyes of the politician or respect and therefore also in the second kind of democracy. The democracy of a control by a small group that represents the people, the demos. We need to stop asking other people to clean our shit up. In other words, we learn to learn the first form of democracy, meaning control by all creatures. We don't mean with that that the health system have to be a stance of anthropocentrists. That we have to look on the world in more biocentric way, in more whole way, is that constant using this tunnel visions that actually make anything to the hell. People have at least to be a little bit have the understanding from which their uh, cohorts do that work on the other parts. Is that that we constantly play appeal to authorities, and that authority is right because it is an authority. We need to understand before we can change the system in a better way. Biocentrism focused on the whole system, and all living beings are inter interconnected with each other in one or another way. And that's the, something that they have to learn. They have to learn to watch the world, watch society from a biocentric perception and not from one anthropocentrism perception with hierarchies. Anthropocentrism is also the keystone 
of um, feudalism and capitalism. And how? And there are all other hierarchies. When bicentrism acknowledged that all parts of the circle have some crucial role, even if we not direct understand their half. It's a completely different philosophy than the arrogant mindset of I only respect things I can understand. Instead of saying, prove to me why I shan't to be nice to you. If you look at it from the position of the biocentrist, when you look at it from the whole system and you not pick and choose which kind of you want to believe because it is privilege for you. Biocentrism does not think in a way from prove to me why I shot to be kind to you or prove to me why you shot have viral. Biocentrism in contrary with anthropocentrism, try to understand the situation before you eliminate some parts just because you think and don't support the whole. The whole ecosystem is important. We are nothing, we are just passengers or pests, maybe. That we are being destroying this ecosystem. We are the main reason for the sixth mass extinction, the Homo site, or must I say, the Anthropocene. We are destroying the oceans 19.1%. That percentage on this moment is. What they still live and are still free in the oceans. On this time, it's around 10% on past. That's what not is exploited. We are destroying the rainforest only for greed, gluttony, deadly sin. Look at Farmia. Dancing. Fucking. Not caring about the world. Not knowing we are nothing. We are not what was intended. But we can become more ecological sane. We can become morally conscious. Well, vegan. Because the meat and dairy and egg industries are the main reason from the from all the problems, environmental problems, all around the world, from the deforestation, which is 91 percent because of directly because of animal agriculture. Yeah. According to the World Bank. This is from the Amazon rainforest, by the way. Around 45% of all the land mass used on this planet is for agriculture. And 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions are coming from animal agriculture. You can do something about it. Stand up. Go vegan. Live in harmony with the three laws of ecology. The law of finite resources. There's a limited amount of resources. Means limited amount of growth. Second, the law of diversity. There must be a diversity between species for a healthy ecosystem. The law of dependency and interconnectedness. Meaning all forms of life are connected with each other in one or another way 
even if we not understand. We have to come to our humility. And we have to stop let us brainwashed by the media and corporate industries. That it is okay to view animals like commodities. And believing there are stupid objects. How not can think or can feel the schlack wheel. Like, like you can, maybe. And even if there are have lower intelligence levels or awareness, that does not make it okay for us to kill them. Because if we look, we'll go to that criteria. We have the right to eat people and kill people who have a low IQ. People who are uh, brain dead in a hospital will kill or kill and eat and turn people into furniture and jackets that are mental retarded, extremely mental retarded. I think you don't want that that happen. So go figure. The cost the least amount of harm possible to spend. When darkness and light become more, the reality spins away and truth become visible.